Iran has the fastest growing evangelical population in the world. The church in Iran is growing like a wildfire. God has prepared the hearts of Iranians, and when they hear the gospel, many of them respond to it. It's growing in numbers, but it's not growing in the knowledge of the Bible. I want to share with you a testimony, testimony of Omid. It's a very unusual testimony. Omid says, my father was dying of cancer last year. And when he died, we read his will. We thought he was Muslim, but when we read his will, we got to this sentence and we were all shocked. My dad wrote in his will this. It is also my will that my eldest son, Omid, teach the gospel of John verse by verse to my family, to my wife, and all my children. He says, we looked at each other. I, we thought our dad was a, was a Muslim, but this is a Christian. And then he says, my mom said, no, we have to honor your dad. We, he was a great man, and we have to do this. He says, for the next few months, I studied the Gospel of John, and I taught it to my family. Through that verse-by-verse -verse study, he says, we all realized Jesus is not just a prophet, as Islam taught us, but the Son of God and the Savior of the world. So we all decided to follow Jesus and become Christians like my father. The whole family comes to Christ. But his request at the end is the one that really shakes me up. He says, I want to follow Jesus. I want to tell everyone I can. I want to teach him to understand God's word in the Bible. I have been watching your programs and now listen to this request. Will you train me to teach the Bible as you do? So many Christians in Iran. This is number one request from Christians in Iran. They tell us, okay, we love your programs, but would you teach us systematically about God's word? And would you equip us so we can serve the Lord? That's why we started 412 School of Ministry for 2018. We cannot do it alone, though. We need your prayers. We need your support. We need your help to produce these teaching training programs and do the proper follow-up and equipping and training of these people. Would you join us this year to launch this school, to take it to the next level, to equip and mobilize two to three million believers in Iran? Just imagine, just imagine you and I work together and equip and mobilize two to three million believers in Iran serving the Lord. What are they doing now? They are isolated and prisoners in their own homes. What would happen if they do something for the Lord, serve Him? Iran will be transformed and the whole Middle East will be transformed. Would you consider joining us? Would you consider praying and supporting us financially? Together we can make history, not just Iran, but the whole Middle East.